Welcome to our lecture online. Sometimes the solutions to a quadratic equation are not rational, they're irrational. In other words, they include the square root symbol that we can't get rid of. And it turns out that we can use the completing of the square method to solve for such a solution or set of solutions. So here's the equation 3x squared plus x minus 1, and you'll find out it doesn't have a rational solution. But again, we're going to follow the same steps as we did before. And notice that the coefficient in front of the x squared term is not equal to a 1, so we have to include step 1 of the general case as well by defining everything by the number 3 to get a 1x squared. So when we do that, we get the following. So step number 1, we get x squared plus 1 over 3x minus 1 over 3 is equal to 0. So we've decided both sides of the equation, divided both sides of the equation by 3. Next, we want to move the constant term over to the right side. So that's step number two. I'm going to put x squared plus 1 over 3x uh, is equal to a positive 1 over 3 because the sign changes when we cross the equal sign. And now we're going to take half the coefficient of the middle term, square it, and add it to both sides. So that means we get step number three, x squared plus 1 over 3x plus 1 over 6 because 1 over 6 is half of 1 over 3. Of course, we have to square that, is equal to 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6 quantity squared. We need to, of course, add it to both sides of the equation. So now we can go ahead and factor the left side and clean up the right side a little bit. So step number 4, we can write this as x plus 1 over 6 quantity squared. And I think my pen is dying, so let me see if I have another one here that works a little bit better. Okay, x plus 1 over 6 quantity squared is equal to, that will be 36, that will be 12 over 36 by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by 12, and we can then go plus 1 over 36. <clears throat> and of course, that is equal to 12 plus 1, which is 13 over 36. So now I can go ahead and do step number 5. I think take the square root of both sides, so we have x plus 1 over 6 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 13 over 36. But notice that the denominator, we can find the square root of that, so this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 13 over 6. Now we're going to move this constant over to the right side, that's step number 6. Step number 6, we get x is equal to minus 1 over 6, and then plus or minus square root of 13 over 6, and notice I have 6 in both denominators, so I can write that x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 13, all divided by 6. And there you go, that's how we can leave it. We have two possible answers. One is minus 1 plus the square root of 13 over 6, and the other one is x is equal to minus 1 minus the square root of 13 over 6. But those are the two solutions to our original quadratic equation, and notice we end up with a radical. So therefore, we have the irrational solution, and that is how it's done.